Hi everyone, welcome along today. I'm going to show you how to renew the head on a free port valve. This is the most popular Honeywell one and it's a sprung return mid position valve. So I'm going to show you just how we can just easily take that off and renew. Personally, I like to do the whole of the valve uh, when they go, but you can just do the head and obviously it's a cheaper option and it saves you draining the whole system down. So without delay, I'll show you what to do. Okay, first off, you'll see a little lever at the side of your valve there. Just pull that up into the manual position. That's the manual position over there. And you lock it up into that little groove like so. Once it's locked in there, um, then it's fine to take the head off now. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, at the back of the valve, usually where the writing is here, you'll see a screw there. And it holds the cover on. So we just undo this screw here. You don't have to undo it fully, it only needs to come undone a few few turns and the top will come off. And uh, it usually just lifts away like so. Exposing the valve. So once you have your cover off, you'll find there's two screws that hold the motor to the body of the valve. There's one on this side, and if we flick it over, you'll see the other one there. Alright, now what we've got to undo. And don't get confused with this one, it's this one. Okay, so get your screwdriver, it's the flat screwdriver head there, and just turn it. They don't even have to come right out. Once they feel loose there, that's enough to take the motor off. You don't have to go all the way out, that's it. Turn it round for the other one, again the same. And as I say, it doesn't need to come right round, they just go round and round when they get to the end of the threaded part. And it should just come away like so. And there we have it. There is the body of the valve. Um, and that's the part that doesn't go wrong that often, but sometimes if there is a fault with that part, um, it could be what's burning the valve head off. So be warned, if you've already fitted one of these, it's only lasted a short time, there's probably a problem with the body of the valve. Okay, so that's just something to bear in mind. But to get that off, that is now off and ready for a replacement. Now, as you can see here, um, if, if all your springs and so forth are all okay on the valve, they're all actually none of them are broken or they're okay. You can actually just renew the synchronous motor part here, this bit on its own. And if you undo this screw here, I might expose the wires there so you can see it, that one there, um, you can take the, the motor off and undo these wires into this block and just renew this part. And that is even cheaper again, uh, and you'll find. I've got links to Amazon ones that I sell through the site um, on there if you want to just buy the motor which is really cheap or I recommend the whole thing but you can, if funds are tight, just buy the synchronous motor on top. So without delay now, we'll stick the top back on. Righto, so we're saying you have a new, a new head here ready to go on. There's, there's the hole in the bottom to line up with the, the valve spigot there. Okay, so all you've got to do, literally just put them together like so, you can see that, just in the hole, enter it in and line it up. And it will line straight on, you can see the screws popped out ready to go on, and just screw it back in place. Okay, so that side, and the other side, there it is, there's the screw, they don't come out, they're locked in place, so you haven't got to worry about losing the screws, they just stay there and just tighten it up. That's it, that's on there. You still have the screw on the back, so when you're ready for your cover, get your cover, you know that is the hole for the screw, and just pop it over there, slide it down over the screw like so, and do the screw up. I'm not going into the wiring of the thing because I'm taking it you're competent to wire the thing up. Uh, it's just a case of numbering the wires that come out and putting them back in the same place but if you are a bit worried about doing that get an electrician in okay to do that part if you're worried at all about that but basically that is how to renew the, the motor um, and leave the freeway valve there and save yourself a lot of trouble with draining out and all the rest of it you know you get airlocks and all sorts of problems once you've got to drain it out and you've got to top up your inhibitor um, I have got a video on here for renewing the whole body of the valve, I've actually done one, so there's a whole job on there if you want to renew the whole thing, it's not as bad as it seems, <laughs> alright, so I've got a link, I'll link that up for you so you can see that video if you want to watch that one to renew the whole thing. Alright, well that's about it from me, thank you very much for watching, uh, usual place, 
They're written 33 for everything I've got. Okay, keep the faith, guys. Bye-bye.